All right, so we're going to do a little review on the uh, Aptasia Zapper that I just got from uh, Marine Depot yesterday. And uh, props to Marine Depot for shipping it quickly and cheaply. Uh, they had a great price on it. Uh, it was uh, packaged very, very well. Arrived safely. And uh, just a couple little items here. I'm going to break this video down into two parts. I'll show you what the device is. Another video will show you me actually using it. So real quickly here, obviously 110 power supply with a little red indicator light on it, letting you know everything's good. That's about four feet long, gives you plenty of plenty of cord. Then you have the uh, activation switch. This is uh, never to be in the water, but it has a sealed uh, cord on it that uh, attaches to the wand itself. So if you'd have it plugged in, you have this. Uh, cord here there's waterproof and then this so you'd be using it thusly sticking it into the tank and pow 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 to activate the probe works with hydrogen the um, the tip is has a protective cover and it is uh, merely just a stainless steel probe they recommend that it be washed off with uh, fresh tap water after use, dried off very well, and then the cover put back on for protecting it. The, um, the wand itself is, is fragile. They say it's fragile, so what they're saying is don't bend it, because if you bend it, it will break. If there's a drawback to it, that would be the only one that I have, because as you know, Aptasia, they all aren't just out there in front waiting for you to kill them. They are in cracks and crevices, nooks and crannies, and uh, so that will be the challenge. Uh, some rock work may have to be moved over to the side temporarily while you get a good shot at them to uh, give them a good zapping. So, like with everything else, you know, you got to work with it. So anyway, yeah, and this, uh, the wand is 20, I believe it's 26 inches long. Yeah, about 26 inches long. I've used it on some of the, all the way to the bottom of my tank. Uh, I have a 90 gallon, never got my hands wet, so pretty easy to handle. It'll take some getting used to, I'm sure, as you'll see with my video. You know, you just uh, practice makes perfect, and uh, I got plenty of them to practice on. So, there we go. I really don't uh, enjoy killing things. But now, today, I do. Alright, that'll be it. Thank you.